What's up guys, Quantrix02 here, another figure review, and today another UA student joins the Figma line from My Hero Academia. It is Ochako Udaraka. Let's get into it. As always, guys, before we take a look at the actual figure, let's take a look at the box. And uh, Oshako is in the normal Figma boxing here. You have, like, the, the huge window here to show you the figure and things it comes with. And then you have, like, the uh, borders here, which is not a color of the of uh, the character that's in the box. So um, Oshako's main color is pink, so you're going to have yourself a nice pink uh, border here. It's black down here. It says Figma Max Factory Action Figure Series. This is for number 470. My Hero Academia Ochako Udaraka. At the top right there, you got another picture of uh, Udaraka there. Another picture of Udaraka there. Uh, different stuff that comes with the figure. And some warning stuff in Japanese that I can't read. And then another picture of the figure nice basic packaging but we're not here for the packaging we're here for the figure so let's take a look and here's the figure where everything comes out of the package before we take a look at accessories let's take a look at the figure itself and here she is Ochako Udaraka aka Gravity and she is the first female in the My Hero Academia Figma line and is very well deserving of it because she's probably the most one of the most popular females on the entire show so it was a no-brainer to have her come out uh, first when it comes to the girls. And uh, like always, man, aesthetically, uh, Figma has nailed it. Like I say with all of the other reviews that I've did for the Figma line, um, they just nailed the look, man. Just straight out of the comic, or the, the manga, I should say, manga, and straight out of the anime. It looks 100% like this character. Uh, but let's take a closer look at it real quick. So let's start up here at the head, and there is that nice face right there um you have the big eyes you have the blush marks you got even the mouth the signature mouth where it's kind of like uh halfway drawn it looks like uh but it's the way that the artist uh you know does her smile and it, they nailed it so that's that's great um then you have a little bob haircut which they also nailed it looks good uh once again no shading or anything for that uh but the hair looks spot on so i just spin her around real quick so you can see that so that's the side view and there's the back the nice soccer mom bob but she pulls it off greatly she looks good and then um Uraka has one of my favorite uh hero costumes i love her costume you got the pink um the light pink and then the dark pink and then the black so there is uh that right here so and i love how they did this um the pinks are a matte and the black is like a gloss, a glossy, um, you know, plastic right there. And they nailed that. You can see the, the sheen, the shine coming off of the black. And I love how that looks. Not 100% sure if that's like that in the show, but it looks cool in the figure. Um, yeah, the detail is a great here. I love it. There's the, there's the back right there. So that looks good. Um, and then you can look here. Here's a little belt here, which is a, a kind of a separate piece. That looks uh, pretty nice as well. There are little gauntlets here on her uh, her hands. Nice and big like they are on the show. Looks really good. And then there's her little legs. And then her little signature boots here. Right now. Well, I don't know how she walks in these things. But um, they nailed those as well. So there's the bottom. And yeah, there's the back. And I think she looks good, man. She's like nice and curvy like she is in the show. Small, curvy. I think they um, nailed the look. So, that's already a plus right there with the look. Not surprised. Let's move on to articulation. Looking at articulation, um, let's start off at the head here. And just like previous uh, Figma My Hero Academia figures, she has an offset double ball pick which uh, I do not like at all. I don't like this design. I think they use it to get more range to the neck, but it really doesn't do that. So it goes up about that much, and it looks just looks strange. Look how long the neck gets when she's looking up. It's weird. Um, and doesn't look down at barely at all, so don't see the purpose. But you do get side to side, and you can spin it 360. 
so there's that so still don't like that but that's their design for some reason um in the shoulder it hinges up about that much and she doesn't have a true bicep swivel but you just you do get swivel here in the uh the shoulder so that moves around all around like that so you get all that motion and of course you're going to be able to go 360 with it so that's good you get a double jointed elbow which does way better than 90 it's really nice uh, these little things don't spin at all her little gauntlets here they're, they're pretty stationary um then you have your peg here in the um the ball peg here in the hand or the wrist wrist peg that spins 360 and also hinges very well even with the gauntlet you just they're not going to get in trouble with that uh coming down to the diaphragm slash ab crunch whatever you want to call it um it goes back about that much doesn't go forward barely at all which sucks um and you can get a little side to side with it so let's go side to side and you can kind of spin it too if you need to coming down to the waist uh she does have like a uh, swivel here in the waist which you can spin you can't see it because of the floating the piece it's a floating belt piece which doesn't get in the way at all it's nice and then um you can't go side to side and it goes back about that much and forward about that much there you have that and then you got your double your dumb pill here in the crouch so she can kick out about that ooh, ooh, she can kick out very well look at that almost a split right there that's really good pull that back in um and she does kick up oh let me get that back on her leg there you go so it it's gonna pop off if you go too high but uh they should kick up about that much so it's pretty good kicks. Oh, put that back on. And then the back of that that much, but the butt kind of gets in the way. So there you have that. So you kind of gotta get that back in place. Alright, and then you have your double jointed knee, which is in those big has those big dumb looking discs. But for her it's probably the best because best for her because she has these big old boots here. Um but it does allow her to to kick very uh bend her knee back very far better than 90 which is great and it does swivel too you swivel a little bit there so that's cool i also forgot to mention that the leg swivel as well so you got all that and then that's about it um no kind of foot articulation but that's not the fault of figma that is just how the design of her boots are so there's nothing there uh, but she does stand well because of how big these th and sturdy these things are. She has no problem standing up, uh, which I thought would some for some reason I thought would be a problem, but it's the exact opposite. She stands perfectly fine. So that is the articulation for Ochako. Let's move on to accessories. Udaraka comes with three uh, face plates, and this is the first one that comes out of the package, which is her smiling face, which shows her bubbly personality. Looks good. Here's a smiling, laughing face. And here's her heroic action shouting face. And before I forget, uh, she does come with an extra uh, bang. I think it's the exact same as this one. I think just this packaged in the extra one just in case you lose it. Uduraka comes with three sets of hands and an additional right hand. Here are the fists that came out of the package. She comes with a pair of holding hands for holding things. She doesn't come with anything to hold though, unfortunately. Hold them and grab them. She also comes with a pair of open palm hands, uh, which can be used basically to activate her quirk. Uh, when she puts her hands together uh, like this, it activates the zero gravity quirk where she can levitate things and just mess around with the gravity when it comes to herself as well as objects and other people. Um, really cool quirk. Yeah, but yeah, in the show she does, she puts her hands together and then touches something in it basically uh, makes heavy things light or light things heavy and so, so on and so forth um, but yeah uh, I think they just gave her uh, some generic uh, Figma female hands that they had going around instead of actually molding her her own hands because unfortunately she does not come with the little uh, pads that's supposed to come on the hands or her hands so yeah, they're just regular. There's no little pads or anything on the hands. 
which is a detail that is missing. I think it's an important detail because that's where her quirks works at is in her hands. Um, and they missed they you know one one thing one detail that they actually miss from the figure is that and it sucks but you know it is what it is. And last but not least, you're gonna put one right thumbs up hand. And one of my favorite accessories that she comes with is her hero visor, uh, which is basically almost a separate hair, head sculpt. Because you can see a uh, nice translucent um, plastic right there, and it comes with uh, its own hair sculpt. And you have to just put your uh, put take the head off of the the figure, and then place this one up there. And then you're gonna put your face plates in here. So I'll show you real quick. So you just take the hair apart, right there. And you take one of her face plates, and you just plug it in there like you're doing her, her the regular Rochako here. So there you go. So that's how that looks. And then you just line it up. And now she has her visor. Like I said, this is just a separate head sculpt. So you're gonna pop off this head here, and you're gonna put this one on. And uh, I'll definitely show you how this how this is gonna look in the um, in this slideshow. At the end of the video, so there you go. And her final accessory, uh, well, accessories, I should say, uh, you get your standard Figma uh, flight stand as well as this little uh, rock piece here, uh, which shows off her zero gravity quirk. So it comes with you put you plug the little clip here, arm piece here on the uh, the Figma stand and you plug this separate piece here into this part and then that piece into the rock and you can adjust that how you want to uh, it's pretty cool I mean <laughs> the rocks kind of small it would be cool they come with more than just you know two rocks if it came with a couple more or something because uh, I'm pretty sure if Amazing Yamaguchi was to do this figure you know it was going to come with at least five to six of them and this just comes with just the one and it's kind of small um and non-threatening um <laughs> but it is cool and i'm glad that they do something in the short quirk off other than nothing so i guess i can't complain about that all right it's sass comparison time time to compare ochako to different figures from different lines here she is beside black series ahsoka otano and uh marvel legends angry hugh jackman and here she is with SH Figure Arts Ultra Instinct Son Goku and Mezco's 112th Blade. Here she is beside her fellow UA classmates, also from Figma. You got Bakugo on the farther farthest on the left. Then you got um, Izuku Midoriya. And then on the right, you have um, Choto Todoroki. And here she is beside Rebel Tech's Amazing Yamaguchi All Might. Overall... Ochako Uraraka by Figma is a pretty decent figure. If you have, if you have any of the other uh, My Hero Academia Figma figures, you kind of you know what you're getting into. You're going to get yourself a high quality um, uh, import figure as far as the looks. It looks just like it came out of the comics, or I keep saying comics, manga or anime. Um, but obviously, when it comes to articulation, it's not the greatest. Um, but you can get things done. I think I a little uh, over exaggerated a little bit when it came to my total rookie review. Uh, you can get them in some pretty cool poses, uh, but it is still somewhat limited. And it's the same thing for uh, Ochako here. Um, you're going to be able to get her in some decent poses, but it's not, you know, um, amazing Yamaguchi level. It just as far as that. Uh, but I love the the gloss on the outfit. That's nice. Um, the colors are pretty clean. I don't have any really QC issues. Uh, I would love to have uh, to, if they could just put in some some more uh, quirk effects. I mean, yes, we get this little, little rock effect, but it's so small and this little. Uh, I would love to have a couple more of those, a bigger one maybe. Um, but uh, that's really not that much to complain about uh, with this figure. It looks good, and it's probably one of my favorite uh, out of the the fic, my, uh, my hero figures. Man, she looks perfect, and maybe I'm just biased because Chaco is one of my favorite characters in the show. Uh, but I, but as, just talk about it, the figure standpoint, it is a great figure. And if you are a fan of, uh, the My Hero Academia anime, uh, you should go out and get her for sure. And I give her two Quantrix, so two, uh, certified thumbs up. Where's my other thumb? Where is it? There it is. Okay. So 
if guys if you want to get this girl she is available at uh at uh japanese retailers like uh figure retailers like amiami uh but next month or the month after that she will be available at big bed toy stores for the american release so you can wait for that if you need to um or just get it right now if you want her um and as always guys please smash that like button if you like the review if you're not already please subscribe to the channel for more figure reviews also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified every time i put up a new review and with that said, guys, stay gold. And the holidays are here, so, you know, be safe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.